This video describes corgrams, a way to visualize correlation matrices. It's new in StatGraphics Centurion version 17. A correlation coefficient measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. It's scaled so that it equals minus 1 if there's perfect negative correlation between the variables. It equals 0 if there's no correlation and it equals plus one if there's perfect positive correlation. When there are many variables, it's common to display the correlations in the form of a matrix. Each cell of this matrix shows the correlation between two variables, the row variable and the column variable. Unfortunately, it's difficult to see what's going on in a tabular display like this. The core gram was invented by Michael Friendly as a better method for displaying correlation matrices. The main reference is an article published in the American Statistician called Coregram, Exploratory Displays for Correlation Matrices. That article presented two important ideas. The first was to use color in each cell to indicate the magnitude of the correlation. The second was to reorder the variables so that similar variables would be near each other in the matrix. Here I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet information about 93 makes and models of automobiles. There are columns with data showing the price, the miles per gallon, the horsepower, the length, the width, the weight, the number of passengers, and other features. To generate a core gram, I'll go to the main menu and select Describe Numeric Data Multiple Variable Analysis. I'm now going to pick 20 columns from that file, avoiding the columns that don't have numeric data. There, I've got the 20 into the data field. I'll then press OK to start the multiple variable procedure. The first dialog box that comes up asks me how I want to treat missing values. Do I want to include only complete cases? Those would be rows in my data file with no missing data on any of the 20 variables. Or would I rather use all the data whenever I computed a pairwise correlation? When I press OK, a dialog box will appear listing the tables and graphs I can create. I'll select an analysis summary, a table of correlation coefficients, and the correlation plot. The correlation plot is another name for the core gram. I'll then press OK and the analysis window will appear. Let's double click on the core gram to make it large and press the text font size button on the analysis toolbar to reduce the size of the text. Each cell of the matrix is color coded to represent the magnitude of the correlation. Colors range from dark blue for a strong negative correlation to dark red for a strong positive correlation. As you look through the table, you'll see quite a number of strongly correlated variables. I'll now press the right mouse button and select pane options. Here I can select what type of correlation to plot. The Pearson product moment correlation, the Spearman or Kendall rank correlation, or a partial correlation. I can also select how to order the variables according to their order on the input dialog box, according to the first eigenvector, or according to the first two eigenvectors. If I select first eigenvector, the contribution to the first principal component will be used to reorder the variables. I can also check this box to tell it to display an X instead of the correlation for any pairs of variables that don't have a significant correlation. When I press OK, the plot will update to reflect my selections. You'll now see a group of variables weight, engine size, wheelbase, length, fuel tank, width, cylinders, that all have strong positive correlations with each other. 
you'll see three variables, miles per gallon in highway driving, revs per mile, and miles per gallon in city driving, which have strong negative correlations with that first group of variables. You'll also see a scattering of x's, indicating correlation coefficients that are not statistically significant at the 5% level. By and large, however, there are a lot of correlations amongst these 20 variables. I'm sure you'll agree with me that the Coregram is a very useful tool for visualizing correlation matrices.